Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I am It's Roxanne and this is Daily Rambles. Today we're doing Season 5, Episode 12 of Supergirl called Back from the Future Part 2. I don't know why I said it like that. So we have a gang is at a bar and when discuss his call name, you know, like their alias I guess, and it is Computer Lad. And he says, oh I love it, it's great. Liar. Anyway, so then, um, then Will joins them for at the bar, and it's karaoke night, and they start to sing karaoke, and they are really good, and you have, you know, Kara is, like, singing, and she's, like, belting. Then we cut to where John is worried about Alex. Then we cut to where Alex talks to Brainy, and, um, it's like, look, if you, if Alex gets up what she's doing, I'm going to eliminate her. So, she needs to stop. And he's like, is everything all good at the DO? He's like, oh yeah, everything's great. I'll handle Alex, don't worry about it. And then right when he hung up the phone, um, joins Italic Brainy. And then after Will and Cara are done singing karaoke, she, um, he asks her out. But um, before she can answer, she has to go to the DO and it was Toy Man. And we found out that his um, consciousness is in the system. And if he goes out of the system into the World Wide Web, all hell's going to break loose. And so, um, the DO's in lockdown. Then, uh, literally, all the lasers get shot at everybody in the DO until Brady locks them out of that. Then we cut to where Alice is getting rid of all the tech and went on... Uh, taking the Bluetooth off the phone, off the tablets, and taking everything offline. And then th it turns out they have a landline, and Lex called, and then um, basically they're just trying to handle everything. And so Alex is trying to make, you know, it's like, we got out of control, it's fine. Alex, so we're going to handle it's like, no, no, no. All your men and all your people on their own that are working need to be handling and go by room by room because there are kryptonite stuff in every room. So. She was like, okay. The Brainy called Lex, and then Lex knew that the Toy Man could pot potentially gotten into the system. And he wants the code. <laughs> so it can be the Leviathan and Obsidian. Like, to me, I think they're like one and the same. Then we cut to where Andrea is, um, BioLink isn't working right. And then Lena talks to her and she offers to help. But Andrea says no. Then we cut to where Brainy has to fight to try to Toy Man. And so, originally he was going to go around and look, but then Alex stopped him from doing that. So I need you up here to monitor him because he's trying to get to, through the firewall and to like outside. And he's like, okay. Then when talks to Brainy, is like, look, I know what's going on. Like, is anyone in immediate danger? Do you know what you're doing? He goes, yes. No one's going to get hurt. I know what I'm doing. I got to handle. Again, probably a lot. Then we cut to where Lex and Lena talk, and he offers to help her. Originally, she says no, but then she's like, okay, yes, please help me. And um, he actually waited for her permission. He already put stuff in motion, which is very new for Lex, because he just wants to just do it. And um, then Wynn talks to um, and Supergirl talk, and, you know, dealing with all that stuff. Then Carl likes Will, because it talk about everything like that and um, then we cut to where Toy Man is detected and there was a breach and sees the dad. Ooh, sorry my knee. It's like oh snap. Uh, then the dad wants to help but when it's like no and he wants to delete both of them <laughs> from existence. And then we cut to where Lex talks to Gemma Cooper who's like one of the board members of Obsidian. And also one of the key players in Leviathan. And um, basically, he wants to work with her. And then Alex knows about Brainy's whole thing and fusses him out. And so he comes clean-ish and warns her about Lex and everything with that. And But he doesn't say, like, he's doing the code and stuff. But he does kind of come clean. It's like, Lex found your software and you need to stop it. And then we cut to where Gemma is upset at Andrea and then um, basically pulls out the guilt card so hard. Like she's like, 
I chose you to do this and it's the building legacy of your father's company and you not accepting it's just a lack of confidence in the company and she was just like, okay, let me call Lena and we're gonna work together now. <laughs> then we cut to where Wynn is going in the server thanks to his um, device that he has. Then we cut to where Toy Man took the extra suits and he's the, trying to take the extra suits out so he can go out into the real world and do crazy stuff. Then Wynn is in the server and it's Wynn versus Wynn. Then we have Brainy creates um, a diversion um, to help with the extra suit situation. And so um, the dad said he wants to help, but he can't win, so he's not trusting him. And then finally, he's like, look, you're in this area, so you can control what happens to you. It's not like very, like, if you fall, you're going to fall. You actually can, like, fly and do all the things. So, um, after listening to his dad, he finally lets him out. Then Wynn deletes them both um, after the dad holds down Toy Man. Then Lena talks to Lex. And um, we found out that Lena actually messed up Elena's tech. <laughs> She's the reason why, like, the bio league wasn't working. Then we cut to where Gemma is playing the Luthers, and she's like, "Oh, we are so like we're finally working with the Luthers or whatever." So anyway, I don't know what they got him playing, but I'm very excited to see what happens. Then Alex is quitting the DEO, and then Wynn is leaving again, and he's going by the name Toy Man now. Toy Man now as his call name, because like basically, um, what? So basically, he used to be so, he had like such hard feelings about that, that uh, but now that he's kind of over it, he wants to use it for good and put the, like goodness back into the name, which I thought was actually kind of neat. Then we cut to where little cars at work and talks to Will and Will gives her a puzzle because uh, she gave an excuse that her grandma was stuck, sick and um, basically old people love puzzles, but I was like, young people like me like puzzles too, but again, I'll be 30 freaking three or yeah, this year. Damn. Anyway. <laughs> so then she changes her mind on the day. She said, I'm sorry, I can't date you. I don't see that way. And he kind of understands. But he's like, I just guess I just misread the information. Then Brainy gives Lex the code. And Brainy is now the new director. And then we cut to Ricard, talks to Alex. And talk about boy stuff. And it's like, I just couldn't do it. And then Mixie is back. And that was the end of the episode. Um, I guess the episode a strong A. I really, really enjoyed the episode. It was, like I said, it was great seeing Wynn back on the show. But I just feel like some of the acting I felt was too extra to me. Just a little bit. That just kind of threw me off. That when went from a that's why when it went from an A plus to an A. But other than that, I thought it was fantastic. I really enjoyed it. Um I love all the twists and turns and everything that's happening. And so, um, so Alex is stepping down from the DO, and so John wants to put her on the um, the tower team. And um, I was like, okay, cool. I feel like she'll be better there anyway. So I was like, good for her. So really good episode. Really enjoyed it. And I think that's what I'm doing for this episode. So if you like this episode, please go to like, comment down below. Wow, the sun came out. Uh, <laughs> just like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye, everybody.